Apple News tonight at 6. People in the Eagle Point Apartments community in Arlington are complaining about their living conditions. In one unit, we found mold covering the walls in one bedroom and a lot of other problems out there. The landlord says she was unaware of the issues until On Your Sites Ken Amaro brought it to her attention. Rick Anthony, Eagle Point is a very large apartment community, about 450 units. Several of the buildings were damaged by Irma. There were severe water leaks. And now in some of those units, there's a mold problem. Apartment 28, for example, is just one of the units in desperate need of repairs. Did you get the bathroom sink? Latoya Whitfield moved into her Eagle Point apartment five months ago. When it rained, all this leaks. She says there are leaks in the bedroom, leaks in the bathroom. But if I lift this whole thing up, it's, it's, uh, it's nasty. Leaks around the air conditioning system. When the AC on the whole, this whole thing be flooded. And now those water leaks in her two bedroom apartment have turned into mold. What is your biggest concern now? The mold from the my son. Whitfield, a single parent, works two jobs to pay the $850 a month rent. Did it get worse after the storm? Her concern is her seven year old who has asthma. And you've brought this to the attention of the management? Yep. Joanne Burrard is the COO of Eagle Point Apartments. But until now, you had not heard no. of the issues in this unit. No, I had not. They should have brought it to you. We showed her the problems. Where do we go from here? Okay. Normally, what happens is when I have apartment issues, the tenant comes and communicates with me. If it's not livable, I move them. She says Irma contributed to the issue. This did happen during the storms. Burrard says they've already replaced several roofs in the 450 unit complex. They have yet to get to Whitfield's building. Like I said, this is the first time I, I would, I've been addressed with this. The landlord promises to fix the issues, but says there's another problem. So Whitfield is behind on her rent. Let's fix this. Okay, this needs to be fixed. Whitfield was served with an eviction notice for being behind, but Man, she says no the record is credits. wrong. Bring me those receipts. I'm going to look at what's going on here. I'm going to give you credit. Now, Whitfield has agreed to meet with the landlord Monday morning to resolve the rent issue. A resolution would stop the eviction and get her a different apartment. We checked with the city for a complaint history about this complex. And since May of this year, six complaints have been filed with the city's code enforcement, and the complaints have all been about living conditions. Back to you.